The history is quite fascinating. 21st century. Welcome back to Paranormal Resident Season 5. So I am here at St. Finian, Finian's Monastery in Clonnena, Clonnena, um, Leash, Ireland. And this is the oldest place I've ever been to. So I'm going to show you guys around, tell you a bit about the history and do some investigating. Here we go. Okay guys, so it's a bit windy so hopefully you're going to be hearing me okay. Um, so yes, we are at St. Finian's. Um, monastery in Leash, just outside uh, the town of Port Leash. Oh, there's some cool headstones. Um, so, guys, this site dates back. Well, obviously, it dates back a long time, but um, the monastery was first founded here in 548 AD. It is absolutely ancient. Um, story behind it would be St. Finian, which is a blood relation of St. Mary. He set up this monastery. Story goes that a young boy, an angel, came to a young boy and told St. Finian that he needed to set up a monastery and he had to live here and die here. So um, this is what's left of the actual monastery, guys. Uh, there's a few ghost stories surrounding this area. Um, a lot of people don't really come here. Um, it's on the side of a main road, but people have seen strange things driving by at night. Um, so, it's interesting, and it is one of the oldest places I have visited, so I said it'd be good to start off Season 5 with St. Finan's Monastery. So, 548 AD it was set up, and of course, over the years it has been built up. And things like that. Oh god, okay. Oh, I have to stand on the tombs. So I'm just gonna have a look up this way. I hope it's not too windy guys. If it is, sorry. <laughs> not much you can do about it. Um, kind of up on a hill. So Clanina means ivy and ooh, so it would be the island of ivy. This place would be called um, I've seen a few of these headstones in different areas, so I have been around Leash a good bit. But I'm only really starting to explore what Leash has to offer. As you know, I've been to Tipperary a hell of a lot. So I decided to go next county over and see what we can find. So I'm just going to work my way around here. nice arched window very typical and some more graves to sight very cool okay so to know that I'm literally walking on history is quite cool this place is so so old so guys I'm gonna head into the Monastery bit, and we're gonna start some ghost tube. Okay, guys, I'm just looking around the graves, and we have a Freemason grave. I've never seen one before. So, Eliza Graham, who died the 7th of November 1925, aged 22 years, and also her daughter, Margaret Maria beloved wife of William um, 1909 and then we have William 1910 so Freemasons wow um, also here we have some really old 1790 graves so this is the far side of the graveyard um, the rest are quite modern so I'm hesitant to show you guys but um very cool. Okay guys, so I just made my way into this structure. It's actually 
really really cool uh, I don't know why that's there <laughs> but you know Kieran doesn't really care look at me I'll get it this place is so so old um, Anthony was just taking pictures and his camera went dead very quickly so hopefully they're after taking some energy that's cool 1759 I have a grave here which is actually quite modern 1952 or is that yeah 1962 Oh, look at the stonework. So that is the window. We have some tombs on the floor. There's a little window up there. There's all these little nooks and crannies. So guys, I'm gonna go on Ghost Tube and chat a bit more. So here we go. So we're on Ghost Tube and I'm calling out to any spirits that may be here in St. Vincent's Monastery, if you can give me a name. Can you talk into this device I'm holding? My name is Kieran. I mean you no harm. Um, I explore abandoned locations looking for spirits because I want to know if there's life after death. If you're here with me, can you give me a word? Can you make a loud noise? Can you copy me? <whistles> so the way this app works guys, it has an EVP. It also has a ghost um, dictionary. So if the environment changes in a certain way, a word can be generated, which is fascinating to me. And we have electromagnetic field, which is totally fine. Um, but if it does spike at all, I will notice. It's actually quite cool in here. Um, I'm getting a bit of a vibe. Like I'm being watched. But you never know with this thing. So, 6th century monastery, St. Finian's Leash, Ireland. I have a bad habit of not explaining where I am guys, so I'm trying to really amp that up. <laughs> uh, but the history is quite fascinating. 21st century. Oh. It is the 21st century. Give me a fright. Um, what century are you from? Can you tell me what century you're from? So St. Finian had a large following um, of people, so they were, the saints came to Ireland and they were trying to um, convert the pagans um, to Christianity. So that's why there was a lot of saints in Ireland, they were, went on a mission because Ireland was devil's country and the devil resided in Ireland so they came to rid the devil of Ireland. So, I don't know why they're saying 21st century. Um, can you give me another word, please? If there's any spirits here, are you trying to communicate with me? Can you give me another word? Can you do that again for me? The year now is 2019. My name's Kieran. I'm named after Saint Kieran. Getting um, weird feelings. I feel like there's somebody around me. Can you maybe touch me? Throw a stone? Anything to let me know you're here? I'd really appreciate it. Windy. 
Can you give me another word? Do you haunt here? Do you still reside? Are you a resident? century. Interesting. So um, there's also a story locally about um, coming more now to the 1800s of a priest who um, liked a bit of drink and a bit of you know fooling around so he was excommunicated and it's just one of the stories from around here and um, he's said to haunt here. Um, he sounds like a bit of fun telling you the truth. Can I hear your footsteps? It's been a long time since I got a word on the post tube, guys. So for me, it just makes it more legit because, you know, there's not spirits everywhere, you know. I believe that we have our guides, but not all places are haunted. Okay, I'm gonna throw a stone, and if you can throw it back for me, I'd really appreciate it. This window here, guys, is so tiny. Okay, I have a stone here. Can you throw it back for me? Melissa. Melissa. Are you here, Melissa? The magnetic field is kind of jumping up and down a bit. I just kind of noticed that there. Melissa, if you're here, can you give me another word? I'm calling out to the spirit of Melissa. Are you here? Some weird noises, guys. Hello? Can you do that again? Can you give me a word again? It's under a tomb here, guys. Let me see if I can find Melissa written anywhere. So that's Lawrence. Um, uh, no, it's Patrick. Alice, Alice. too sure and this one is not marked what year are you from okay, guys we're gonna try some spirit box and see if anything comes true okay, guys I'm gonna start up the spirit box Take off the echo. Can you call it out to the spirit? This device I have in my hand, you can talk to me. Can you tell me your name? Is Melissa here? And Fenton here. Oh, God, guys, the wind. 
Put my back to the wall, I'm getting real paranoid. My name is Kieran, can you say my name? There was a humming beside me, guys. Do you want me to leave? Do you want me to leave? Do you want me to wear? Do you know who I am? Christ. Are you from the sixth century? Did God and his angels tell you to build here? Are you a saint? Is there any monks, any abbots here? Am I the first person that's come here to investigate? And see if there is any spirits. Have you ever, have you talked to anybody lately? Do you know where I'm from? Do you know where I was born? I think St. Pinton, you were born in Leash. My name's Kieran Ahti. Okay, spirits, thanks so much for communicating with me. Can you say goodbye to me, please? Okay, guys, I'm gonna turn you guys around. Okay, so a few interesting um, responses. I'm tempted to try Ghost Tube again. <laughs> just to see if anything comes through, so I might do that, but um, if not, it comes true, guys, I won't um, add it to this video. I don't want to bore you all. So, um, I just want to say, guys, thanks so much for all your support. Um, I'm on season five of Paranormal Resident. I do this all myself. I film myself, I edit myself, um, I go to locations by myself, um, and it means the world to me that even if two or three people support me, I'm happy and I'm lucky that I have a lot more than that. So um, I want to thank you all for supporting me on my adventure. It's not easy putting myself out there and putting myself on camera. Um, and I've got some hate. <laughs> Even though I'm a small channel, small YouTuber, I've got hate. But um, listen guys, 
I don't know where I'm looking on the camera. You're supposed to look at the camera, but I'm just like looking off into the distance. Thanks so much for watching Paranormal Resident Season 5. Um, I can't believe I have four seasons. I have over 40 locations done now. Um, I have about 14 episodes a season, 13, 14 episodes a season. My first season was only 10 episodes. So we're on season five and I'm excited guys. So I, I'm gonna try and bring you a lot more nighttime investigations. Also, I'm gonna try, ooh, I just seen a light. Hello? I've never seen a light like that. Um, I'm going to try and bring you to a lot more enclosed areas, not like graveyards and things like that. Even though they're interesting, um, graveyards usually aren't really the most haunted places. Mon monasteries, yes, because, you know, people... Oh, I keep seeing lights. People lived here. So, um, listen guys, thanks so much for watching. And until next time... Why do I... Bye. Okay, side note guys. <laughs> I just have to do my outro and the gate's been closed on me. Um, it was open because I had to get in. I didn't slide in, I just walked straight in. Um, I'm pretty sure I have it on video. But it's completely closed over. It's not that heavy. It's of note. Hopefully I caught myself walking in and it was a bit open. Weird, huh?